Well, the presidential candidates are set to face off in their first debate just 10 days from now. Can't believe it. A lot can happen between now and then, but here to talk about the importance of the first debate is Lee Hanna, a political science professor at Wright State University. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about some of the big news that's going on today, specifically the birther debate. Um, Donald Trump announced today that he now says that Obama was born in the United States. Why is this significant? Well, I guess at some point they realized that they weren't getting anywhere with that issue, and so they they tried in a in a very creative way to pivot and argue that that Hillary Clinton started that movement. But most of the press has has uh, debunked that theory. Uh, that that's kind of the current state of affairs, and we'll see whether it, it catches fire, whether Lester Holt brings it up in a week and a half, or if this just dies down and we move on to other stories. Well, we'll move on to the debate. Sure. The debate now. <laughs> um, just announced today, no third-party candidates are going to be there, so it's just going to be Trump and Clinton facing off. Does that surprise you? Yes, I. Well, I guess um, I just looking at the polls. As long as the debate commission held to that rule, it did not look good for Gary Johnson and. The month. Him and uh, Governor Held even put out a full ad in the New York Times to try to argue that um, let us debate in this first one, and if we're not at 15 percent for the second one, then we'll, you know, we won't even petition. Uh, but they just just couldn't uh, get enough support to, to to be there. Yeah. How significant is this debate? This first debate. I think it's it's you can't understate it just how important it is and if you look at these two candidates and what they've um, been saying about one another over the process of, of several months now for them to finally get on stage to finally be able to um, set the record straight uh, you know both ways as far as uh, trying to both define themselves and define their opponent it's going to be really fascinating well let's talk a little bit about each candidate yes. so what's at stake for Donald Trump well, with Donald Trump, if you remember the the RNC debates, he was always on stage with you know <laughs> ten people, and in that way, it allowed him to not always uh, have to uh, kind of you know really work out a full statement, work out a full position. He could pivot, he could be quiet when there was an issue that he didn't really want to talk about, didn't really have a comparative advantage in, and now he's going to have to, you know, answer those questions. He's going to be, be held accountable and it's just him and Hillary Clinton on the stage. Um, and then meanwhile, Clinton has a, a lot of experience and, and a lot of one-on-one -on -one experience. Her and Sanders debated five times. Her and Barack Obama in 2008 debated heads up six times. Gotcha, yeah. yeah. So she's got a lot at stake, too. You were saying that, yeah. She's yes. been in a lot of debate. Yes, yes. So she certainly has a lot at stake as well. And I think the, the big question that, that both campaigns are asking now is, to what extent do I need to discredit the other versus change kind of the rhetoric about myself? And that, that's the big question, that, that you want to leave both looking presidential and competent, but also um, you hope the other candidate some fodder for the media to, to discuss. You hope that there is a gap. You hope that there is a, a clear um, point in time where, where the other candidate doesn't look presidential. We will find out what happens. Thanks sure so will. much, <laughs> Lee Anna. Um, the debate is on uh, Monday, the 26th, and we will have complete coverage right here on WDTN. Back to you, Maytal.